What's up guys, it's CH here. Uh, part four of our how to build a content management system or CMS with PHP. In the last video we created a database and in this video we are going to populate it. So I got my database that I created in the last video called Sterling and now we're going to create some information for it in a new table and I'm going to call this table information. Number of fields, we're going to do four but I'm going to do them one at a time and I'll show you. So I'm just going to add one for the time being. Go over here to the right and click go. And I like doing them one at a time even though we are going to do four because if you do one or two, they display the information vertically as opposed to you from the get-go said you wanted ten fields of information. They would do them horizontally like that. And the screen would stretch apart and uh, it's just a lot easier to get lost or make a mistake. So. Here's our first field, and we're going to title it ID, which is pretty common. Most databases have an ID, and the type of field it is going to be is going to be an integer value because we want it to display numerically as ascending, so 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up into 999. So for that, I'm going to click 3 because I get three digits. I get pretty much every number between 0 and 999. If I clicked 4, Sorry, if I clicked four, I would get zero all the way up to 9,999, but that's way, way, way too much information for this tutorial. So I'll just leave it at three for the time being. And uh, this is our, our ID field, so I'm going to set my primary key to this field. A primary key is kind of like a social security number for a computer. So if we had two Alan Smiths, on in our database with the same exact spelling they would each have their own different primary key just like a social security card to help the computer distinguish them so I could pull them back out to my front end uh, into my HTML and what else do I want to do I want to click on auto increment so they ascend in whole values one two three four all the way up to 999 if that's the case so I'm gonna come down here I'm gonna click save and I've got three more to do. So I'm going to add one more field. Again, I'm going to do them one at a time. In this field, we're going to call menu. And this is not going to be of integer value because I want to write something here. I need a string. So I'm going to write var care or car, excuse me. And the maximum length we're going to set it to is 25 characters. And that will do 30 characters. And I believe that's all the information I need for this field. Yep. Okay, I'm going to add another one now. And I'm going to title this position. And I do want to have it a numerical value, ascending value from zero all the way up until however. And I'll leave it at three as well because if our ID can carry no more than 999 queries, then this one can't carry anymore. So. We'll set it to three and we'll go ahead and save it. And now we just got one more to do. And we're going to set this field name to visible. And this is going to check, this is a Boolean. So it's just going to check if it's true or false. Yes or no, one or zero, on or off. So we just need a length of one. And uh, that should be it. So. For all the fields that we created besides the ID, they all just have this general information up here, the title, how they want to set the variable or what, what you want your variable to be equal to, and then the length of it. But for the ID, we had our primary key, which I'm not going to click right now, set to our ID field, and we clicked auto increment for our ID field as well. So let me look at our table of information, our table called information of information. And uh, everything looks good except for my collation right here. Sometimes PHP, I, I don't know, either they auto-populate or they change it up when you're not looking. But this, I do not want to be Latin1 underscore Swedish. I want my MySQL commands to be in uh, English, uppercase English. So I'm going to go in here. I'm going to click on the pencil to edit it. I'm going to go to the collation. I'm going to come down to UTF-8 underscore general underscore CI, which is kind of the norm for anybody who speaks English, I guess. 
And same with this, with the visible. I don't know why, I could have sworn it wasn't on Latin when I filled out the, the information, but that's fine. Here, here's a, a, a FAQ that we kind of came up with on the fly. So this is, everything is looking good. We've got our four fields of information, ID, set to integer, and it's auto-incremented. Menu looks good, and uh, okay. So in the next video, now that we have some information, we have a table of information called information. Try not to confuse you guys. Maybe I should redo this video and not create my table as the name information, but we'll see. And uh, in the next video, we're going to start inserting more information now to these fields. So stick with me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. All right.